Hi. Now in this video, we are going to see how we can run our Solidity programs. So to run our Solidity programs, we are going to use this IDE by the name of Remix. So on Google, just search for Remix IDE and then click on this first link, okay, where it is written HTTPS Remix dash project dot org. Just click on this link. Now you can see that this is a very beautiful website, I think. And then when you will scroll down a little bit, you will have multiple options here. So for now, in the starting, we are going to use Remix ID on our browser. So we are not going to install this on our desktop because we do not require it. So we will simply click on this button. So once you will click on this button, you will see that Remix ID will open in your browser. So no installation, nothing. We are good to go. Isn't it good? We do not have to install anything. So now let me give you an overview of this Remix ID, how we are going to use it, how we are going to create our contracts and everything from scratch. Now on your screen, you must be seeing this home. Just close it for now. Now on your left hand side, you must be seeing this panel. Okay. Now in this panel, you can see there are multiple folders, multiple buttons, and I'm going to explain you each of these things. So in this, first of all, let's talk about all these folders. So in these four folders, or I will say two folders uh, and this remix, uh, this uh, readme.txt, we do not require any of these three things. So just don't worry about these two folders as well as this file. Okay. So we need to concern about only this folder by the name of contracts, where we are going to write our contracts. So just click on this folder. So once you will click on this folder, you will see that there are multiple Solidity smart contracts, which are already created for you by the Remix ID. So let's see one of those contracts. I'm clicking on this storage.sol. So you can see that there is your Solidity smart contract. At this point of time, this program might be looking alien to you, right? But don't worry, I will explain you each and everything. So you can see that there are multiple contracts created by your Remix ID. But we do not need to worry about all these contracts. What we are going to do is we are going to create our own contract. And for that, I will click on this button, as you can see here. OK, and when you will hover over it, you will see an option create new file. Just click on this create new file button. Now, once you will click this create new file button. OK, now the problem is it is creating one file, but it is creating at this, you know, at the uh, uh, like uh, not in your contracts folder, but in this workspace, but we do not want to create our contract in this workspace. We want to create our contract in this contracts folder. So first select this contracts folder, then click on this create new file. Now, once you will click on this create new file, you have to give a name to your Solidity contract. So in this example, let me give it a name. Let's say demo. Okay. And for your Solidity programs, remember guys, for your Solidity programs, you will always end your file with .sol. .sol is an extension for your Solidity programs. Like in C, you have .c. In Python, you have .py. Like that only, Solidity has this extension .sol. Now enter. Now once you will enter, you will see that your smart contract is opened here. And you can see that it is open because we are on this tab. You can close all these remaining tabs because we do not require them as for now. Now this will be your editor. This will be the place where you will be writing your smart contract. Okay. Now before creating our smart contract, let me tell you all these different buttons as well. Right off your create new file button, you will see one more button by the name of create new folder with the help of which you can create folders in your, uh, let's say in your this workspace, okay, if you want to create any other folder by the name of let's say, project, or let's say school, so you can create folder with the help of this button, then you have an option of GitHub, but currently we are not going to use it. So just don't worry about it. Then these this is an option to load one of your local file, let's say you have created one smart contract as a text format in your notepad, and you want to upload it on your Remix ID then you will select this button. But again, we are not going to do that. So don't worry about it for now. Then on top of it, 
you will see that we have this default workspace. Now this default workspace is the workspace where all your folders and all your contracts are present. Okay. So let's say you are creating, uh, let's say you are creating one project for your school and one project for your college, then you can create different workspaces. So you have to just click on this plus button. Now you will see that, okay, uh, this is default. So you have to just, just select this default and then you have to give the name to your workspace. Let's say I want to create for my college. So I will just enter college. I will click on OK. So you will see that now we are in a different workspace because you can clearly see that our demo.sol contract is not present here, right? So this is a different workspace and I hope you have worked you know, in VS code or something like that. If you haven't, don't worry, we will work. But this is just like going to a different workspace. If you again go back to your original workspace, you have to again click on this workspace area and then then you have to go to your default workspace. So again, we are back. We can again go to contracts and then we can go to our demo.sol. So again, as I said that this will be an area where we are going to write our smart contract. Now, before you write your code, you have to mention two very important things whenever you are writing your smart contract. The first thing is SPDX license number. We will talk about SPDX license number in our upcoming videos. For now, what we are going to do is we are simply going to copy this from here. Okay, just copy it for now. I will explain you what is this in our upcoming video, in our upcoming slide. Then another thing that we need to have is this pragma now what is this i will explain you again in the upcoming video for now just copy it down so these are the two compulsory line that you will be writing whenever you are creating your smart contract okay first the spdx license number and then this line pragma solidity greater than equal to 0 0.7.0 less than 0 0.9.0 okay now once you will do that now you will be writing your smart contract now before moving further let me tell you one thing. Let me be very clear here that do not worry about the syntaxes that I'm going to use because we are going to talk about each and every syntax. We are going to talk about each and every concept in our upcoming videos. This is just a sample solidity program just to tell you how we actually write our smart contract. OK, so this is a very simple sample smart contract just to make you familiar, like how you actually write solidity code. OK. So don't worry about the syntax or the keywords that I'm going to use. So first thing what we have to mention is, is the contract name. So I will write contract. This is the keyword that is provided by Solidity. So first you have to write this, then your contract name. So now we can name our smart contract anything like I can name it as ABC or I can name it as, you know, XYZ, whatever name I want, I can give it to my contract. Okay. So let me give it this name, uh, one of the name as demo, because if you will see, we have created the this file, this smart contract by demo.sol. And this is a good practice, like whatever name you are giving to your file, you should give to your contract. Why I'm saying this? Because this will make, let's say if you are creating various smart contract, in that case, it will be very easy to find where smart, which smart contract is present where, right? So that's why I'm saying this. So like this. Okay. Now within this curly braces, we write our code. As we all know, the tradition of any programming language, whenever we start with any programming language, we always start with hello world, right? So in the same way, we are going to start with hello world in Solidity. And how we are going to write hello world in Solidity? Simply, we have to first write string. So this is the data type provided by Solidity. String is a data type provided by Solidity. Then when we have, then we have to mention this keyword public. Okay. We will talk about it. So don't worry. And then the variable name. So let's say str. Okay. And in this variable name, we will assign hello world like this. Okay. So remember to put semicolon at the end of your each statement in Solidity because Solidity is just like your C programming language, C plus programming language or Java programming language where you have to write semicolon at the end of your each statement. Okay. So now our work is done. 
yes our work is done we do not need to do anything we have written hello world in our solidity programming language you must be thinking okay so we are not going to write any code like function or something we just need to declare one variable yes that's it once you will do this your work is done now once we will do this we have to simply compile our smart contract and to compile our smart contract we will again go to this left side and you have to go to this symbol okay this symbol that you can see on your screen just click on this now once you will click on this you will see that you have a lot of information right but you do not have to worry about any of these information you have to just change your compiler version to the latest version okay so in this you can see that we have a lot of compiler versions and we will select the latest one that is 0.8.17 okay so select this now once you will select this it will take some time to respond because it will be adjusting this compiler so you can see that this compiler button is still not available for use now it is available now once it is available you have to simply click on this compile button and it will compile your smart contract so i will click on compile your smart contract is compiled and how i can say this because of this green tick that you are seeing on this button right so once you will compile your smart contract you will see this green tick on this button okay now once you will compile your smart contract it's time to deploy your smart contract and how we can deploy our smart contract we have to simply go on this button which is just below your compile button just click on this you will see a lot of information on this site but you do not have to worry about any of these things for now you have to just see the environment tab so this is your environment tab this actually tell us where we are actually deploying our smart contract so in this case if you will see by default it is selected remix vm london so when you will click on this deploy button this smart contract will get deployed on this remix vm london and what is this remix vm london we will talk about this when we will talk about our contract deployment environment so i will talk about this there okay for now let us click on this deploy button so once we will click on this deploy button our smart contract will get deployed and how i can say this because once you will click on deploy here you will see the information that okay your transaction is successful because of this green tick okay so as soon as i will click on deploy you will see that this green tick will appear so let me move it ahead let me again deploy our smart contract deploy you can again see that a green tick appears here means we have deployed our smart contract so just scroll down so here you will see that you have two smart contracts because we have deployed our smart contract two times right so we can delete one of them let's say i want to delete this so i will delete it i will then select this now once you will select this you will see that there is your variable str here you can see that right we have declared our variable by the name str and the same variable is present here this in the form of a button now once we will click on this str button you will see it will return hello world so hooray we have completed our first task of printing hello world in solidity yes there is no print statement or any such thing in solidity so we are going to use this shortcut form in order to print hello world in solidity so in this video we learned various new things right we learned how to create our smart contract how to compile our smart contract how to deploy our smart contract and so many other things in the next video we will talk about the compilation process of solidity which is very important to understand so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye i hope you enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and if you want to connect with me then i am available on instagram at codeeater21 or you can connect with me at linkedin as well so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye